Charles E's, Charles E's, everything you need to know when you need to know it, man. So, check this out, man. Eddie Griffin, the comedian, you know, he made some, some allegations about Diddy. We all know what Diddy been going through, you feel me? So, Eddie Griffin, he said Diddy had a lot of high-ranking guys, a lot of powerful men, in very vulnerable positions, man. Yeah, in compromised positions, in certain type of sexual parties, freak-offs, for lack of <laughs> for lack of better terms, very powerful men, and Diddy recorded them acts. Yeah, Eddie Griffin said Diddy recorded them acts. Now it's already been whispers about this. You feel me? And what from what I'm understanding, a lot of those powerful men that Diddy got recorded. I got to say allegedly, I got to say allegedly, and got them on film in compromised positions, these men, these powerful men, they got friends in high places, and some of them high places is Homeland Security, yeah, it's Homeland Security, the guys who raided Diddy's crib, who raided Diddy's houses, you feel me, several weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, you feel me? Yep, you guessed it, right You see, we there We there Raided right the house looking for these videos, man Because these videos can bring a lot of important people down, man See, D hey, one thing about Diddy, he is survivor, man He is survivor Now listen Ain't no way a man that smart Diddy who done made power move on top of power moves gonna have these videos laying around in his establishment if he did that shit with that shit with uh with, with uh what cassie that shit with cassie was a red flag for diddy to get all that shit out the house that's if he wasn't on his p's and q's then you feel me yeah listen those videotapes those files whatever they long gone man they long gone. And furthermore, I feel that these raids on Diddy's house, yeah, they was uh they was calculated. You feel me? I think Diddy, Diddy's a powerful man too, with a lot of access. You feel me? With a lot of resources. I think Diddy might have had some people in, in Homeland Security. Somebody pulled Diddy's coat to these raids. Where he wasn't on, where he wasn't at the house. Or he didn't show up as being at the house when these synchronized raids happen on his property. Yeah, man. Yeah. But Eddie Griffin came out and he said it. One of the more powerful men was a guy who brought a lot of big acts to the table in the music business, man. Yeah. Brought a lot. I don't want to say the man's name. You know. I ain't trying to have nobody... <laughs> Shut my shut my shit down. Come looking for me. I ain't gonna say the names, but Eddie Griffin, he dropped those names. You go check out Eddie Griffin's his interview with the names he dropped, talking about Diddy and the, the freak off parties and all that, man. But yeah, these powerful men who was allegedly recorded by Diddy, they got friends in Homeland Security and they raided Diddy's house looking. For those videos with them being in compromised positions. Yeah. Positions that could bring their world come tumbling down. Like Diddy's, some would say. Some would say. You know, Diddy might be fine. I don't know. The media could get something and spin it and make it make it look one way. We seen Diddy riding bikes after this. You feel me? Yeah. We seen Diddy riding bikes after this. So I don't want to be quick to say... His world is tumbling down. Did he lose some sponsors and some deals? Yes. But he's a billionaire that ain't the end of the world for him. You feel me? The man had proven over and over he know how to make money, man. You feel me? So, we will see, man. We will see.
If it says videotapes, where are the videotapes? Hey, only time will tell, man. Y'all tap in, get in my comments. Your boy Charles E. Subscribe, share a like. That's my time. Until next time, you're deep.